So, Intel has been pretty evil with their pricing and specs for their CPU lineup for the last two years. And well, AMD has been taken over. But now with the revealed pricing and specs of Comet Lake S CPU lineup, I guess Intel is going to compete again. And we've seen before from some leaked benchmarks where Intel the i9-10900K that had a better single core performance than the Ryzen 3 3900X up to 15% difference and it was on par on the multi-core benchmark. And that's actually similar to what AMD promised with the Ryzen 4000 series. Now keep in mind that the Ryzen 4000 series will be backwards compatible with the older AMD motherboards, while Intel is gonna be a totally brand new socket, which is called LGA 1200 based on the Intel's 400 chipset. So that's the point for AMD there. But with that aside, here are the CPUs from Intel that are very interesting to me for the price that they'll offer. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a budget game. Gamer. So first off, we are looking at the i5-10400F, which is a 6 cores, 12 threaded CPU for 160 bucks, and it can turbo all cores up to 4 GHz. Now even though the clocks are not that high, when you compare it to the Ryzen 5 3600 with the refined, you know, IPC and that whopping $160, so we're looking at a cheaper option actually, I guess it's gonna be one of the best budget CPUs for the price. Also we have a Ryzen 3300X competitor here which is the i3-10300. For $122 you get a quad core 8th threaded CPU so it has hyper threading enabled and it can turbo all the way up to 4.0. 0.1 gigahertz. Again, it's not as high as the 3300X in terms of clocks, but for the price again, it's pretty decent. And for the high-end market, we finally saw a replacement to 9700K, which is the Core i7-10700K. Now the KF, which is an overclockable CPU and it doesn't have an integrated GPU in it, is gonna be for around 350 bucks and it can turbo all the way up to 4.7 gigahertz. So it's an 8 cores, 16 threaded CPU, so it's got hyper-threading enable so this is pretty much an i9 9900k but it's more refined and it's for 150 bucks cheaper now there is also the infamous i9 10 900k which is a 10 cores 20 threaded cpu that we saw some benchmarks of recently against the r9 3900x and it was on par with it on the multi-core benchmark and in the single core benchmark we were looking at a 15 percent difference you know but it's for 488 dollars and it can turbo all core to 4.9 gigahertz so that's really darn fast so i guess intel is going to be back with this beautiful lineup that gives actually really good performance for the price at least for the budget pc gamers but keep in mind that we are comparing this brand new lineup that's supposed to you know hit the shelves on may 20th to the old ryzen 3000 series while it's actually meant to compete with the ryzen 4000 series so we're here to see how this this will turn to be and i guess the cpu market now will be pretty competitive and it will be one of the best years for gaming that we haven't seen like it in a while so if you like that video press on that like button and press on the subscribe button we are going to hit 1000 subs pretty soon see you in the next one and peace